Hello, I'm Brainerd Carey. I'm an artist, I'm an educator. I've written these two books, Making It in the Art World and New Markets for Artists. Both books help artists navigate their careers and, and decide how to make certain decisions. And it's not for beginners or a certain type of artist. It's from anybody who is just beginning a professional track to people who are trying to get into the Venice Biennial or the Whitney Biennial. And these are exhibitions that I know about because I've gotten into them. And, and it's something that I can speak to and give guidance on, which is what I do. And today, this video, I want to talk about what it means to be, quote unquote, discovered, right? We all want to be discovered. And there's a few ways to discuss that. One is that there are artists that continue to get discovered. And we hear these stories, Sam Gilliam, Lee Bontecu. There's all kinds of artists who after 50 years, you know, suddenly come into the limelight and be, become discovered. And so what does that mean for them? For them, that means that their work was being sold for a while, their work was popular, and then suddenly stopped. No one was offering them shows. And for 50 years, they were painting in their studio until they were suddenly rediscovered or discovered again. So I know most of you don't want to wait that long, but you know, this story of people who wait that long says a few things. One, it's that you know, they're in it for the long haul, the long game, so it's possible to be discovered. When they weren't showing and selling, they didn't give up, they kept going. So it's important to keep going, but more than that, in this day and age, in 2016, 2015, it's also about presence, visual media. And that means having your images on Facebook, on Instagram, you know, using Periscope, whatever it is that is the medium of choice for you, it's a way to get out into the world. It's a way to become discovered, so to speak, you know, to have visibility. You can't be found if you're not seen. But there's one other aspect to being discovered that the um, director of the Whitney Museum told me. It was actually the chief curator, Larry Rinder, who told me this. When I was in the Whitney Biennial, I thought, my God, this is you know, the, the show of a lifetime. This will set up my career. And I know all these people who will introduce me to everyone else. I was somewhat naive at the time, I realize now. But it seemed to me also a natural thought, right? I'm in this great show. I'll be meeting other people. So I asked Larry Rinder. I said to him, Larry, how is it that you, know, you can, or, or could you, I asked him, introduce me to another curator, specifically one at Palais de Tokyo in France, where I wanted to have an exhibit? And he said to me with great pause, Brainerd, I could do that, but it might do you a disservice. And I said, why? Why, why would it do me a disservice? I want to meet him, and you know him. And he said, yes, I do know him, and I could call him and tell him about you. But this is why it might be a disservice. He said, curators, like artists, have egos. You know, and They feel that they have their own territory, their own ground. He said, I feel like I discovered you. He said, how did I discover you? He said, you wrote us a letter and a curator saw it and we all looked at it we looked at your work and we decided to include you in the biennial so you're my discovery you're the curator's discovery and we're proud of that he said if i if i call him and i say to him hey i have this artist who's really interesting and i, I think you might like to look at his work he relates to a lot of the things that you talk about he said he might have one of two answers for me he might either think and not say don't you think i know the artist's enough on my own. I'm curating all the time. I know what's happening in the world. You don't need to introduce me to artists. He said, that's one thought, he said, which would not help you. He said, the other thought would be, um, I already know him, you know, and so, you know, you don't have to tell me anything about him. You don't have to push him on me. I've already heard of him. He said, both of those responses would probably do you a disservice because instead of you writing to him directly and giving him the ability to discover you, he said, we've now removed that ability from him to discover you. I mean, isn't this kind of odd and fascinating? We all think that in the art world, the way to get everywhere is somebody like that, a director of a museum, somebody who knows everybody, will give us their connections, will hook us up. But that's actually not how it works. The way it works is you write to people directly, you make friends with them directly, and then you become theirs, their discovery. They've discovered you, and thus um, you become discovered. So in this case, it's about writing letters, reaching out to people, introducing yourself in, in, a very, in a very straightforward way. I hope that helps. Any comments, I always love to hear them. And thank you.